two machines and do it in five minutes. Now the first machine creates the outside shape. This is the basic model. It makes an identical second one. Uh, the method can be compared with how you would duplicate a key. inside shape. Uh, the heel and toe are done the traditional way, by hand. The weight is water. I'll try to show you. I'm not sure. Okay, that's absolutely. It's not spit. It's water from the tree. So we let it dry slowly, three to four weeks, and then three to four weeks, and then polish it on the sandpaper belt. The result is very light and tough wooden shoe for a child of four years old. Uh, looks big. Wooden shoes are big. They are officially approved safety shoes, super strong, hold 750 kilograms. So a horse can step on your foot and your foot is safe. <laughs> They're warm in the winter and once they're dry, waterproof. Uh, advisable to wear them with thick woolen socks for cushioning and comfort. And necessary is one finger space. If they're too tight, you get blisters, they hurt. But with one finger space, they're actually quite good for your posture, and that's also because they're all pretty good shape. So those are a few reasons why we still wear wooden shoes until today, for a thousand years already. And um, 